Hey, this is Bobby with Voltage again and with our BTC Pay series. And today I'm talking with Mike from CoinCards. And uh, CoinCards is a pretty awesome site. It's a platform that lets you live off of uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency to buy gift cards, mobile top ups and more. So, Mike, man, thanks for uh, taking part with us today. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. Well, I would love to kick it off and um, just give you a chance to share a little bit about your business and how you leverage BTC Pay. Um, yeah, so our business is coin cards, like you mentioned. Um, so we've been selling gift cards for Bitcoin for about eight years now. Um, basically, when people have Bitcoin and they need to live off of it, um, they need some way to do that. And there's not a lot of merchants set up right now um, that could potentially take all that Bitcoin just for whatever reason. They, they didn't need a BTC pay server to be able to do that, I guess. Um, yeah, so I mean, we kind of just filled that void, and we've been doing that a long time now. Um, yeah, BTC Pay Server has been kind of instrumental in that, um, just getting us going. And you know, we've been around long enough that we've kind of gone through a, a myriad of different providers, and BTC Pay was kind of we were lucky enough to find them in their early days. Uh, we were actually their number one. Uh, merchant to ever start using them. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I mean, they kind of saved us at a point where we needed a little bit of help. <laughs> Good. I know you've been an, an early user. I think um, you, you can bring some unique perspective here. I've been asking uh, everyone in this series, like, what are the challenges maybe you've run into? But I would love to hear from you something even deeper. Not only challenges you've run into, but how has the the experience been as the platform grows and just improves based on the feedback of people using it globally? Um, yeah, I mean, I since the early days, like it was, it was basically just me and Nicholas at first. So it was just like, hey, I need, you know, I need a, a plugin for our website to be able to work, and other merchants are going to be able to are going to need plugins. So he's like, okay, so I'm going to go. You know, take some of the BitPay uh, plugins at that point, and I'm going to modify them to work on our system. And then, you know, it was like, oh, we need some metadata to be pulled from this place. And, you know, it was just like a constant back and forth of what do we need to make this work? And he was very, like, receptive and, oh, okay, yeah, I'll put that in, I'll put this in, I'll put this in. <clears throat> awesome. Very yeah. cool. And, I know like with your background in Bitcoin, you know, you have some good uh, perspective on how maybe some of this stuff works versus like a standard business owner. But um, what would you say have been maybe even the biggest challenges for you as maybe more of an advanced user, if you'd use that word? Have you really run into any challenges that are worth mentioning? Um, I mean, with any sort of, you know, service, you're kind of relying on other people. So you know, in the beginning, we couldn't launch at first because we needed certain things to be enabled. Um, you know, that's long past. But even like today, we're having problems because of exchange rates, which we rely on on a third party. <clears throat> um, Got it. So, you know, there's always there's always going to be little things that pop up. Um, but BTC Pay, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is really well set up at this point and there's very few points of failure um and the the experience just keeps improving um as more people jump on more people are like hey i want this and there's lots of things that just you didn't even know you wanted or needed but as soon as it's put in you're like wow i wanted that for like i needed that i didn't know i needed that but i needed that that's awesome. Yeah, that's a good point where everyone brings a unique perspective to an open source project and the community can respond and add those features and additional value you didn't know otherwise. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, nice. And from a like when it comes to Bitcoin and BTC pay, um, what challenges as a payment processor have you noticed that BTC pay helps resolve and just improve that maybe cards and other forms of payment fail to do or don't deliver well? Um, well, I mean, for us specifically, we're in the gift card space. Um, gift cards are riddled with fraud. Like there's just gift card fraud everywhere. Um, so if I was actually accept credit cards, I'd be getting chargebacks left, right, and center. Um, and I, 
I know as a merchant, you know, a lot of merchants, they're very fraud aware. And fraud is just something that they're constantly fighting. Um, you know, getting an order for a couple thousand dollars, you're like, yeah, right on. I got a, a nice big order. But then you're like, is this order going to be charged back in a few days? Am I going to lose this couple thousand bucks? Um, so with Bitcoin, you know, there's no fraud. There's no possible way for that money to be taken from you in a few days. I yeah. think, you know, for a merchant, that's one of the huge advantages of using Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, in my in my prior life before working in Bitcoin, I remember American Express did a really good job of uh, we would win 96 percent of the chargebacks. But when it came to Visa, I think we only won like 70 percent. And it was always someone with a fat bill who would just like come around and just be like, nope. And we'd be like, we have a contract. We have video calls. We have this and that. And there was no way to defeat it. And yeah, yeah like your point that counterparty risk that uh that the chance of chargebacks horrible so that's a that's a good point um so all that being said um what have i maybe not asked or what would you like to share with someone who's on the fence of using btc pay or is considering bitcoin payments for their local business or e-commerce business i mean it's it's just an like it's such an easy move like it's very cheap to run a btc pay server instance nowadays um and it just it opens you to a whole new world of customers that you maybe didn't know you had and there's no risk like if if a customer wants to come in and use bitcoin that's a plus for you if they don't want to use bitcoin then you're using whatever you had in place before but just to like open it up and have more options is just just makes sense yeah awesome and one final question that I think is a little more um, unique to your business versus like a standard small business, um, because you are in the gift card space. How many people are using Bitcoin versus like the different altcoins that you accept, allowing people to buy gift cards? If you were to quantify that, um, we actually publish this info um, monthly on our Twitter feed. So I believe it's about forty percent use Bitcoin right now. Awesome. Very cool. So that's that's great. And has it grown over time? Like, um, just I know I don't have the historics right in front of me. Has it grown over time, or is it kind of leveled out, like pretty consistent at this point? Would you say it's pretty consistent right now? The alt coins kind of fight amongst themselves. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there was a point where we were Bitcoin only, and then we added Litecoin, and like we've slowly added coins to be able to use. Um, so that kind of skews the numbers a bit. Um, but I think at this point, Bitcoin is a solid 40, 45 percent, something like that. Um, and then the altcoins just kind of fight amongst themselves as to who's getting what. And... Yeah. Well, great. <clears throat> well, man, I appreciate you sharing this perspective. Um, if there's anything um, as a final question you might share with an e-commerce owner who maybe even specifically has um, a Bitcoin idea or business, what would you maybe say to like, push them across the finish line or what final words of encouragement would you maybe share with someone who wants to get uh, involved in just like the Bitcoin or crypto e-commerce space? I mean, just do it. Like there's, there's little risk. Um, as long as you're doing something legal, why wouldn't you do it? Like, even if, you know, you want to set up a little test shop and just kind of run it and see how it goes, just go for it. And you're going to, awesome. you're going to get Bitcoiners that are going to come to you. They just, they, they love people who support them and, you know, everybody wants to spend their Bitcoin and well, not everybody, I guess, but <laughs> there's a large portion of people who do. And no matter yeah. what other people tell you. That's true. That's true. Well, great, man. Well, thank you so much for taking time to share a little of your story and how you use BTC Pay. I know it's going to be uh, valuable for people. So thank you again. All right. No problem.